All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So we have got a massive amount of new units coming. Um, we have, what, 11 EZAs, and then Mighty Mask right here is the 12th EZA. That's, this data download tonight is about to be absolutely absurd. So if we take a look at this Mighty Mask right here, right? Um, so this is the Super Strike units. I guess these units are going to start getting revamps. This is definitely exciting because a lot of these characters are characters that have no presence in Dokkan whatsoever, like King Vegeta and Kid Vegeta and Kabito and shit like that, right? So it's going to be good that they potentially have solid units. Um, so this guy's going to get an Awakening to TUR and an EZA. Um, and we see that he's going to be level 140 and Super Attack 20. I was actually thinking they were going to keep him um, at SA-15, but they are actually going to bump him up to SA-20, which is interesting. Um, it looks like the event is now going to have a World Tournament category bonus. So Mighty Mask um, is going to be returning. Uh, that's good, because there's not exactly a ton of good Mighty Mask characters, so I got no problem with that. So, all right, besides that, Dokkan tweeted out 50 million things right here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the Boo Saga portion of the EZAs. Shout out to Minato, he did a bunch of translations, but I, you know, I, I'm very tired from physical therapy yesterday, still rehabbing my knee and stuff like that. Uh, so I slept, I, I, I saw the stuff starting to come in and I said, all right, cool, <laughs> I'll get to it when I wake up. Um, Gresh gave the okay, but the stuff's already on the wiki. Now people are screaming at me to take a look at Super Boo, so let's take a look. At what Tech Super Boo's got to do here. Um, okay. So, he raises attack for one turn. He's got a medium chance to stun. Okay. 130% defense at the start of turn. Okay. Medium chance of evading. Medium chance to crit. 30% of damage dealt as HP recovery. He sucks. <laughs> what are his... Wow, they really sold him, huh? Okay. All right, great. Um, All right, how do we make this guy good? Remove this entirely. Uh, he's got this damage. Th this, this, Dokkan thought they did something with this. The reason why this guy hasn't really gotten, like, anything um, is because, again, he heals a lot from damage he deals. This is why. I mean, you could, listen, you can run this guy on, like, a full boo team. If he does any type of damage at all you're gonna heal quite a bit but the thing is is we do need some some options on this Majin Buu Saga team I, I don't know if they got rid of this and then jumped this up to 70 percent this guy I think would be really solid what I was looking for is a character that I could use in slot one with Kid Buu turn one um, I think Janembu does actually fulfill that role. Janembu is good. Um, but Super Boo, I, I... He's got a medium chance of stunning. I don't know why that couldn't be high. I I don't know. I, I'm looking at him. It, it's He's never going to dodge. He's never going to crit. He's just going to get crushed. I, I'm going to want to see him in game. How much defense is he getting down here? 15%, 10%, 10%. And then that's it. Yeah, I uh, he's he's gonna be I think very glass cannony, except he's not gonna do that much damage. <laughs> he's a weird unit. Uh, yeah, I, they could have done better by Super Boo. Um, we have Tech Vegeta. Oh, okay, I'm excited for this guy. This guy's easily gonna be better than the five year anniversary LR. I think. Um, Supreme Damage is gonna give allies three percent attack defense for one turn. Now, okay, you guys know my whole thing with this. Um, this defensive buff for one turn is worthless unless this is a slot one unit. Um, so let's see if they're going to allow him to go into slot one. 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. Another 15% defense for each key sphere obtained. Then he gets dodge for each attack received. All allies... 30% attack and defense. No key. God damn you, Dokkan. Launches an additional has a high chance of being a super. Oh, I... This guy might be very good, actually. Okay, hold on. So, what are his stats? His defense is pretty good. His above 11,000 is good. 
Um, so 150%, 15% for every key sphere. If you, at the start of the, the problem with this is this only goes up to 30%, like who cares? But I mean, if you get lucky with orbs, uh, this guy is looking pretty good. And like, if you're rocking him in slot one and you again, double super, um, he gets this double 30% defensive buff for the whole rotation. Attack Vegito is looking intriguing to me. Um, I, I think the biggest thing, though, that's definitely a bummer for this guy that I really would want is he does not have heat from his support, which I feel like is very important. Um, he's got Saiyan Lineage, which is going to help him a lot on the Boo Saga team. Tech Ultimate Gohan. Physical Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku, all characters that have Saiyan lineage, by the way. Um, this guy is looking intriguing to me. He is. I I feel like, you know, his defense, I want to see how well he can tank when he's got like three orbs, right? If you get like seven orbs with this guy, yeah, no shit. He's going to be a defensive god, but I want to see what he looks like when you've got like three orbs. Tech Vegito is looking pretty good, I think. Um, Int Vegito, I think, is going to be solid as well. Because um, the, these nuking characters nowadays, I think, tend to look pretty good with good uh, amounts of orbs. So, Supreme Damage, all allies, 30% attack and defense for one turn. Okay. 150% attack and defense. Um, an additional 20% attack for every key sphere obtained. That's a lot. 20% with already a baseline of 150% at the start of turn. Defense is good. He's 15,000 attack. Okay. Uh, chance of performing crit with each attack performed. I'm not really the biggest fan of that. All allies, three key. And then launch an additional attack that has a high chance of being a super. All allies, three key. Huh? This guy doesn't have Saiyan lineage. Hmm. That sucks. Tech Vegito has Saiyan lineage, but this guy doesn't. Depending upon your team build, this guy as a floater would be really nice. I, I'm not running this guy in slot one, so this is this part is is only affects base. Think of this guy with his defensive buff for the turn only affecting himself. Tech Vegito, you definitely I think could rock in slot one. Um, but in Vegito, you are not rocking him in slot one. You're just not doing it. Um, he is giving all allies three key. I, I honestly. I might like this better than this. I think I do. I The key to me I've found to be way more valuable because most, a lot of the best, I, I don't know if I want to say more. Well, yeah, I guess you could say most of the best units in the game are LRs, right? Dokkan Fest LRs are all the best units in the game and stuff like that. Um, for sure, we're going to see LR Spirit Bomb Goku and LR Kid Buu and shit like that is definitely coming later on for the Buu Saga team where, you know, this would probably be very beneficial. This guy is good. I could see you using this guy, right? Um, I could. I, I want to see what he looks like in game. Um, I mean, the additionals. If you get like ten orbs with this guy, and he like triple supers, he's gonna do a lot of damage for a, a sub easy A, which is all this guy is. All right. So then we we looked at Super Boo. Um, here we have Int Vegeta. Um, Supreme Damage is a 50% buff for three turns, so, you know, he's potentially looking good. This gets really nasty when it's six, though. 120% attack and even start a turn. 30% attack, 20% defense per key sphere obtained. Wow, okay. Um, chance to evade attacks at the start of each turn. I'll oh, stop it. Change tech key spheres to int if there is an ally whose name includes Goku in the same turn. Recover HP with candy. I, yeah, if you get a lot of orbs, he's good. Uh, this is this is one of those units that's going to like. Who is okay? So, Angel Super Saiyan three Goku, but he's only got a fifty percent chance. But thinking about the Majin Buu Saga team and who is orb changing, um. Again, we have uh, Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku. 
But it's like, we, we need more than that. We need orb changing for a lot of these characters. Because I assume STR Goku is going to be almost exactly the same as this guy. It's like, you're going to get turns where this guy's going to look really good. Um, oh, man. I, the second... So his second turn, right? Where he's already got one stack of this up. And then you have this. And then you get, like, seven orbs. And then he gets, like, a second buff of this. This guy is going to be really impressive. Hmm. I, okay, these Buu Saga EZAs look in, kind of intriguing to me. Now, Goku, I assume, is the same, pretty much? Yeah, see, look at this, right here. Okay, this is exactly what I want. Like, they give us the attack for two turns, but the, never the defense. They never give us that defensive buff for two turns, which a unit that would do that would, I think, start to look very interesting. Sure, the attack is cool, but that a defensive buff for two turns would be really interesting. Yep, 120% right there. Attack and defense. Crit. Creates orbs when there's a Vegeta, recovers HP with candy. So he's, he is basically the same thing. Um, Vegeta is definitely much better. I, I think Vegeta is way better. Because this is really strong. Um, So, poor Goku... I, I, I just feel, yeah, I feel like Goku's not even close to as good as Vegeta. What are their stats? Um, 15,000, 10,000, and then you're... Oh, wow, yeah. Vegeta, I think, is way better. Wow, okay. Yeah, they... they, they honestly, this Goku doesn't matter. Because, I mean, there's already other base form Gokus in the Buu Saga. Um, all right, and then finally, we have LR, Trunks, and Goten. So, let's go ahead and see what we got right here. Okay. So, LR, Trunks, and Goten. What do we have with these guys? Okay, so... Raise defense by 30% for one turn, Colossal Damage. They still lower defense with skinny Gotenks. <sighs> Why don't... If they lowered attack, it's not a big deal. But lowering defense, I hate that. Um, Mega Colossal, raise defense for one turn. Super Saiyan 3 gives him 50% defense. So 50%, is that different? 50% chance for either? It is. Oh, you have a better chance for Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks now. Okay, interesting. 5 to 10. Wow, that's really good. They buffed that. That's This was already one of, this is, um, this is probably the new best key mechanic for an LR. I think they have the best key mechanic for an LR. I think pre, prior to their EZA, they still had one of the better ones, um, 3 to 9 key. Um, I think Hit and God Goku before this EZ had the best key mechanic. Um, because they get what six key, key slot one and two and seven key in slot three. Now I think Trunks and Goten have the best LR key mechanic right there. That's what that is. 150% attack and defense are performing a super. Another 50% attack on 18 key and then a medium chance of dodging. Is that it? Let me see. Hold on. Um, so the way I view this unit, right, is right here. I look at their links, and I feel like this is where problems are going to arise, right? Is their link set? Like, I don't see why you would run them on a lot of these, like, Saiyan builds and stuff like that. I am un. It's very difficult, I think, to evaluate LR EZAs. They're typically not very good. Um, I I think I, I don't know. I I, I just LR EZAs never really end up being that overly impressive. We will see what's going to happen here. I <sighs> I don't know. Um, because this is a character that gets hurt. Like you give they get an additional, and you could hurt yourself with the additional. Like, I don't know why units in 2022 still need to have, like, negatives when they additional. Um, I I don't know. Th this, I, I would probably be surprised if this unit is either as good. It's just, just, if this unit is as good as LR Trunks or Bardock, easy A's, I would be shocked. Um, I feel like there's a good chance this unit is better than Majin Vegeta and better than Int Go uh, Gohan. 
but I don't think I'm going to like them better than Trunks. <sighs> the one thing is, you are going to get their 18 key probably a lot. I mean, 5 to 10 key is pretty strong. I, we, I'd have to see. Again, uh, let me see them in-game. Um, I would say I do sort of like what we're seeing from this unit, though. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys think of uh, LR, Trunks, and Goten. It's just very difficult to evaluate these LRs like this before seeing them in-game, I think. Um, because, like, these units, you know, alongside all their massive buffs, they also get huge stats increases, and they're all jumping to SA-15, right? Whereas, all that happens here is the LRs just go up to SA-25, and then they get their passives changed. They're not actually getting, like, stats increases the way other EZAs are, which is, I think, what leads to these LRs not really being as impressive as they could be. Um, but we will see, we will see. Um, I would definitely say these four do look very intriguing to me. The base Goku and Vegeta and the two base Vegitos look pretty interesting. I could see a lot of play for Tech Vegito. I, I really could. I think he's pretty good. So, let me know what you guys think of these uh, Boo Saga EZAs. Um, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.